real solutions to money, relationships, wellness, and more. Shine a light onto your day and into your life. Power Your Life with Dr. Joanne White. Welcome to Power Your Life. I'm Joanne White, your host. Now that we're in the age of social media, some would argue that etiquette is out the window. Is that really true? Here to set the record straight with a royal lesson in etiquette is the founder of Beaumont Etiquette, Micah Meyer. Welcome, Micah. How are you? Thank you very much for having me. I'm wonderful. Oh, great. Good. So, is etiquette dead? Etiquette is more important than ever. Um, I, I truly think with, you know, the way, you know, everything from the way that we answer our phones to even having the phone in the room, is that appropriate? When is it appropriate? to gender equality, um, the way that women are treated um, versus men in the workplace and socially, to um, really to, to so many different topics day to day. I think it's really more important than ever. So if you had to define what etiquette really is, I mean, mm, other, yeah, of course. what is it? You know, I think it, it is, it, it's a myth that etiquette is so stuffy and it's really just for a certain class of people or it's actually not at all the case. It's really about being kind and thoughtful and, and it's, about, it's about thinking about somebody else first. You, you know, know I, I, I love that because I think that like, like today people aren't thinking about that whether you're driving or you're in a restaurant and people are having their phone and talking really loudly and sometimes I think, I don't want to hear what you're telling your girlfriend or exactly. your mother, right? Exactly. That person's not thinking about the people around them. Right. So that's all etiquette is. And I always use the example of when you're sitting at a dining table, you might think it's pretentious to have a full table setting with so many pieces of silver, when actually the host or hostess has taken the time to think about what you'll need. So you'll, you might need three wine glasses. You might need two forks and two knives. So that's actually just to help you. It's a thoughtful process to help you enjoy your meal. So it's really generous of the hostess or the host to do that because they're like you said they're taking extra time to to really take care exactly now there's this show out right on TV yes. the Royals yes. and they are purposefully making royal blunders what are some of the royal blunders or at least one royal blunder that you've seen that that the prince and the princess are, are really kind of sure. dissing a lot of people around there, right? Sure. This is a hot topic at the moment. Yeah. Um, and I did see the first episode, which which was quite funny. And I think the, the kind of the thing that stuck out really in my mind is there's a formal dining room table and the queen is there and all the royal family and the princesses who um, would be probably Eugenie and Beatrice, the right. princesses, um, are sitting there and their their table manners are so off and they're, you know, they're intentionally trying to yeah, show disrespect. They know, they know better. They know better. Of course they know better. So they're reaching across the table they're Which doing naughty we things we would never do we would never do <laughs> they're doing naughty things under the table um, and and passing things back and forth so they're intentionally showing disrespect which of course the real princesses would never do now in your school yeah. you actually teach royal etiquette and and we have this show why is there such a fascination with royal etiquette and royalty these days do you know, I, I honestly think that we we don't have royalty ourselves here. Right. And you know, we grew up in the Cinderella world where we watch Disney movies and we all want to be princesses and princes. And at the end of the day, it's now, um, I think, interestingly enough, all the recent royal marriages have been to regular people like you and I. So, so the, you know, the, I mean, think about the Duchess of Cambridge, right. even the Queen of Jordan, um, the Norwegian, uh, the Swedish princesses right. so have it's all married. Yeah. So people think it's possible. Average people, exactly. It's like, well, maybe me, so I better be prepared. Maybe. Okay, well, yeah. you went to the trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of uh, we're going to have tea, yeah. and I'm going to see just what I'm doing wrong, too. Okay. <laughs> You're going to teach me. Okay, I will okay. teach you. So, okay, so what we want to make sure is that our handle is at 3 o'clock. And when you have coffee, you actually just hold the cup. When you have tea, you hold the saucer with the why cup. and we, we're having tea so why we're is having that? tea and sorry just put your thumb so we don't want to reach onto the saucer oh, we actually okay. just want to keep our hand just to steady so it. what's the you know I have always seen pictures where you have that little pinky up that's not so no All so right. the pinky, pinky should never down. be up pinky down okay. and just steadily and then lift and drink sip right and you don't want to hear slurping. You don't want to hear any slurping. <laughs> it's just a All right, gentle now be careful, Exactly. And the thing to make sure 
um, you and I you know, might have lipstick on on a regular basis socially. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're drinking from the same exact spot on the teacup or the coffee cup to make sure we don't have, we, we kind of avoid that lipstick ring around the, the glass Is that or the cup. Why is that? Because it doesn't look nice or we're trying to spare the person who's taking care of the dishes? Do you know, I mean, probably both, to be <laughs> honest. But um, it's really, it's just, you know, there's nothing more unappetizing than looking across and seeing lipstick kind All of strewn over. across the, okay. yeah, exactly. So, so it's not appealing. It's not appealing. And if you're eating, it, you want right, to exactly. be able to enjoy your food. Exactly. You don't want okay. the distraction to be on the All you right, know, the so teacup. here we are, and I'm getting tired of holding right. this. So, if we're having a conversation, we've taken a sip. What, what You're welcome do to put I, it down. You're absolutely oh, welcome have, to put it down. Oh, thank goodness, because it does get heavy. It does get heavy. And then that's it. It's very simple. Um, now, see what? This is not. This is off-center. So is that a no-no, too? Does it have to go back the same it way? It should go in the middle of the and, teacup at 3 o'clock. And is it still supposed to be at 3? Yes, it okay. is. All three, right. Perfect. Three, oh, goodness. 3 o'clock. I never do that. <laughs> And what's the difference? Why holding? You know, I'm, why why are you holding the saucer with the tea versus not with coffee? Because you're drinking out of different kinds of cups. Or it's, you know, it is uh, it is about the cup. The coffee cup is sometimes a bit heavier. Right. So if you have a mug, it would be very difficult to hold a saucer with the mug as well. So it's really more practical um, sense there, which sometimes etiquette is. It's just being practical sometimes. Being social. What? And we only have a few minutes yes, here. What? What do we need to do to exude confidence? Do you know, I think I teach um, a course that's my po most popular, and it's called The Duchess Effect, which is emulating the style and the grace of the Duchess. And, you know, sometimes women walk in and they have low confidence, and the first thing I ask them to do is to work on their posture. It is so easy to fix, and it's literally bringing your shoulders back, not using armrests, Whenever you, whenever you can, because the second you use armrests, your posture kind of goes down a little bit. So you want to stay up, your knees and ankles together. Okay. So we're knees and ankles together because we're together. running out of time okay. here. Okay. And you don't lean back into your chair. And we don't lean back. We're sitting forward. How's this? Perfect. And chin, chin up a little. Chin up a little bit. Not too up. Okay. Not too down. Okay. Just right straight there. parallel right. to the floor. Well, thank you Perfect. so much, Micah. You're welcome. Thank you so much for My having pleasure. me. Still ahead, she's a fourth generation psychic medium and the author of Medium Rare, psychic Linda Lauren will join us right after the short break.